Hi everyone! Today I wanted to give you a brief video over solving inequalities. Solving inequalities requires the same steps that we use for solving equations. There's just a couple of different things that we need to do with inequalities. Remember, an equation is uh, saying that two sides are equal with an equal sign, but an inequality says one side is not equal to, maybe, another side. So we use different symbols. The first symbol we can use is this symbol. This is, is less than. Could also mean is smaller than, is fewer than, or it could state that it is below. Okay, all of those mean is less than. Now, we can have the is less than symbol with a line underneath it. That line underneath it tells us it could be less than or equal to. It could be either of those. Now, when we start getting into less than or equal to, we're looking for something that can be at maximum or at most. So when you see the word maximum, that means no more than that amount can fit in there. Or at most, um, is not more than, let me put at in front of that, is not more than, or is not greater than. Okay. All right. All of those are um, things that could be, it could be less than or equal to. Now, we could also have this symbol right there. This one means is greater than. Or we could say is more than. Or is larger than or above. All of those could represent greater than. And then of course we have the same symbol with the line underneath it, which means is greater than or equal to. And once again, this would be at minimum Okay, so minimum amount that you must have, or at least, if I say you must have at least a 70 to pass my class, that means your grade has to be greater than or equal to a 70. Is not less than, your grade cannot be less than a 70, or is not smaller than, could also be used. The thing I think about when I say smaller than is that sign as you get on the rides at Six Flags and they say you must be at least 48 inches tall or 54 inches tall or 40 inches tall depending on what ride you're getting on. So you have to be at least that and if you do not meet that you cannot ride that ride. That is greater than or equal to. And then of course we have the symbol that we use in all of the equations. That means equal to is or they would be the same. This word is is used a lot in writing equations from problem situations. All of these words could be used in a problem situation and can help you write equations. Now, when we are solving inequalities, we are asked sometimes to graph the solution on a number line. So the number line appears like this. Maybe um, I need to know what direction it is going, but what we have to understand is that we start with a dot. That dot can be open or that dot can be closed. If that dot is open, that value that that dot is on is not included. That means it's less than or greater than. 
So I would use this one for less than or greater than. When it's closed, the value is included. And that would be greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Now, if my solution is x is greater than 7, I could graph it this way. I have an open dot because it's not included. My arrow is going greater, and I would put 7 on that number line. So, x could be 7 and 100. X could be 900. As long as X is greater than 7, that is my solution set. So when I start solving those inequalities, I have to realize that I do the same thing as I do with solving equations. So I'm going to give you an example. Let's say I had negative 1 half X minus 5 is greater than 25. I am going to solve this just as if this was an equation. Here is my separation line, and I am going to use inverse operations to get everything away from x. So the first thing I look for is addition and subtraction. There's subtraction. I get rid of it by adding. If I do it on one side, I do it to the other. That is now gone, that zero pair, negative five, positive five. I owed $5, I paid $5, I now have zero. My negative one half X stays, my symbol stays the same, and now I have 30. Now I have got to get rid of this one half multiplying by X, so I'm gonna divide, but I take the negative with it. And here's where the inequalities differ. If I divide by a negative number, my symbol flips. It was greater than, but because I divided by a negative number, my symbol has now flipped. Now, I'm going to divide by negative one half, keep change flip, 30 over 1 times negative 2 over 1, positive 30 times negative 2 is negative 60, 1 times 1 is 1, which would be over 1, which would be negative 60. So my, for, uh, my uh, inequality now states x is less than negative 60. And now I am going to see if that is true. I take any number less than negative 60. So I'm just going to use negative 70. Now, got to be careful here. Some of you were thinking maybe negative 50. But negative 70 would be less than negative 60. So I'm going to plug that in. Negative 1 half times negative 70 minus 5 will be greater than 25. Negative and a negative gives me a positive. Half of 70 is 35, so I get positive 35. Minus 5 would give me 30, and 30 is greater than 25. So, looks like my solution is correct. Now, if I wanted to be really careful, I could choose a number that was greater than negative 60 and see if it worked. So, negative 50 is greater than negative 60. So I'm going to plug that in. Negative 50 minus 5 is greater than 25. Now, if this solution is true, I know this shouldn't work. Negative and a negative makes me a positive. Half of 50 is 25 minus 5. And if this solution is true, this should not work. 25 minus 5 is 20, and 20 is not less uh, greater than 25. So this solution appears to be true. So here is the deal. You've got to be able to use your steps to solving equations. The only thing you have to remember is 
if I'm dividing by a negative, my symbol flips. Now, if I were to graph this, I would come over here. My circle is empty. It's not closed in because it's not equal to. My line should be going left, right, left, and this should say negative 60. So this would be negative 50, this would be negative 40, this would be negative 70, this would be negative 80. We said negative 70 worked, negative 50 did not. I believe um, that this shouldn't be extremely hard for you, but just take your time. Read carefully to what it's asking you to do. Make sure you know if the value is included or is not included, and then use your steps to solving equations to do the problems.